hi guys uh, what's up and today we are going to see how to run sonar cube on docker and sonar cube is a static uh, code analysis tool which is commonly used in devops so it basically uh, analyzes your code looks for any bugs looks for any issues any bad practices that you're doing and uh, helps you to improve the code quality right so the first thing you need to do you need to have docker installed on your machine all right and after that you know you just do a docker pull sonar cube all right and hit enter i already have this this generally takes 5 to 10 minutes or maybe 15 minutes or more depending on your internet connection uh, so just hit enter you type in this if you need a specific version you can just type in 5.6 or something like that right and if you just do a docker pull sonar cube it's just going to give you a standalone instance of sonar cube with an embedded database which is not suggested to be used in production uh, if you want something to be used in production you want to use sonar cube with a database like postgres and uh, right so now we have uh, now we have after you do docker pull uh, sonar cube yeah you should be able to see uh, a list of images that you have and I think my computer is running slow right so I have all of these images and so this is the one that I'm talking about and it's the latest one right so what I do is I'll just run this and to run this I'll just copy this command right so now when we run this command what it's going to do is going to run sonar cube as a daemon which is the minus d and then you have the minus minus name uh, switch which is the name of the container so you can keep any name in our case we have kept it sonar cube and then you have minus p which maps the machine port to the docker port so we have two ports that we are mapping it's 9000 and then 9092 and the image that you want to uh, create the container from so once you hit enter out here it's going to run your container and so this is an older one right so, so if you see now there is nothing on uh, my machine on localhost 9000 all right so once this is command is run successfully sonar cube is going to start on my machine right and then I should be able to access it when I hit enter so it's still loading so just give it a minute right and once this does we need to create a token on the sonar cube server which we'll use to integrate with other applications like Jenkins or anything else from which you want to uh, run an analysis and post the results onto this uh, sonar cube server right so let's try to reload and see right so it's loading now sonar cube is starting cool so once it loads it's going to ask us for the username and password so the default is admin admin so just put in that and then it's going to ask us to generate a token and that's all we need to do yeah so this is it it's going to ask us to log in just put in admin admin all right this shows that this is only for evaluation now you can create any token over here all right so if you have it for jenkins you can write jenkins right generate token continue right and then you can just skip this part and then this is where you will be able to see the analysis of your projects right uh, we don't have anything right now uh, that's it and i'll do some more videos on the remaining part of sonar cube Hope this was helpful. Thanks.